welcome back to Answering Disney vs. Pixar. If you haven't seen the first episode, you can watch it by clicking the card up here, and the link will be in the description. Okay, let's continue answering this long-awaited question. <laughs> studio so we talk about your favorite things from your childhood and no more chit chat let's just get straight back in we're starting off with a difficult one 2010 pixar toy story 3 disney tangled Toy Story 3 is a great movie. Just like its predecessors, it has great characters, is super emotional, and is an amazing finale to the trilogy. Is what I would say if they weren't making a Toy Story 4, but since they are, all the dramatic goodbyes in Toy Story 3 kind of seem overrated and pointless. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm really excited for Toy Story 4, I'm just scared it's gonna ruin Toy Story 3. Tangled is one of my favorite movies from Walt Disney Animation Studios. It has great characters and every single scene is laugh out loud hilarious. Totally different tone than Toy Story 3 and I just can't pick between them. However, Rotten Tomatoes is on Toy Story side, but for the record, I love Tangled just as much. 2011 can we go back to 2010 where we choose we can't choose between two extremely amazing movies? No? Okay. 2011, Pixar, Cars 2, Disney, Winnie the Pooh. Okay, that was a bit of an overreaction. Winnie the Pooh isn't bad. It's a bit unoriginal. What is it, the fifth version of that same story? But it isn't bad. Like, the characters are all extremely lovable. Cars 2 is notoriously the worst Pixar film to date because they put Mater as the main character. They seemed to forget that it was about cars and they made it a spy adventure about alternate energy sources. Neither of these movies are what I'd say great, but they're definitely not the worst animated movies out there. Trust me. Again, I'm gonna have to consult those rotting tomatoes. And Winnie the Pooh did 54% better than Cars 2, and I have to say I agree. 2012, Pixar, Brave, Disney, Wreck-It Ralph. Oh Disney, you have done well. I'd say Wreck-It Ralph is my favorite Walt Disney Animation Studios movie of all time. The plot is great, the characters are so hilarious and lovable, the puns are just top notch, and even a slight video game nerd like me can appreciate all the references and easter eggs. Brave is not bad. It has a good story with a powerful, independent female who doesn't need a man. And overall, a great addition to the Disney princesses. And I love how it doesn't follow the tropes usually set in place for movies about princesses. I think the only reason that it's looked down upon is because it's from Pixar, whose originals are usually immediate masterpieces. Anyway, point Disney, I love Wreck-It Ralph. 2013, Pixar, Monsters University, Disney, Frozen. Well, this one's obvious. I don't hate Monsters U. I mean, it's probably in my bottom five Pixar movies, but it's not bad, and I just want to go on record saying that before I start praising Frozen. Frozen. It's just classic. The music and characters are way above par, and the animation is definitely caught up to Pixar level. I remember when I was nine, I felt that it was, like, the best thing ever. Like, Ever. I mean, the hype did get a bit over the top, especially from a certain song that I don't want to mention. But, it, hey, it was just a good film and one that I loved and cherished in my childhood. Another point, Disney. 2014 and 2015. Pixar, Inside Out, and The Good Dino. And Disney, Big Hero 6. Out of the three, The Good Dino is the obvious flop. However, 
it has the most realistic water animations and overall environments that I've ever seen in an animated movie, ever. But let's move on and talk about the two good ones. Remember last video when I said that when I was really little I hated watching movies? Well, these two, Inside Out and Big Hero 6, were two of the first movies I went actually went to the theater to see. I mean, I was 10, so it wasn't too impressive, but like, this gotta say something about these movies as well as that I was a total puss as a kid. Big Hero 6 had great characters and a super put together feel to it. However, I just had a bigger connection with Inside Out. Not only was I pretty much the same age as Riley and connected with her so much, but for some reason I was also really obsessed with brains. Like, I made a model brain for like a project at school and I don't know, I just, I just really loved Inside Out so much. So, I love Big Hero 6, but point Pixar. 2016, Pixar, Finding Dory, Disney, Zootopia, and Moana. Well, point Disney. Okay, I'll go more in depth into it. Uh, Finding Dory was great. It was a marvel of animation and was definitely the funniest out of these three films. But come on, it's Zootopia and Moana. Zootopia was funny with a heartwarming story and themes of racism that were hidden but on the surface and are totally relevant in this day and age. Moana was just impressive. Great songs and voice acting in an inspirational movie with accurate Polynesian culture and a really powerful female role model. So, point Disney. I'm just happy I don't have to pick between Zootopia and Moana. 2017-2018, Pixar, Cars 3, and Coco, and Incredibles 2. Disney? Ralph breaks the internet. Wow, Disney, really stepping it up, aren't ya? No, I like Ralph breaks the internet, and it has its good parts, it has its bad parts, but I definitely appreciated all the references to Disney, because if you couldn't tell by now, I'm a huge Disney nerd. I also appreciated all the references of YouTube, because I spend literally all my free time either making YouTube videos or watching YouTube videos. I mean, it was good, but not quite what I wanted out of a sequel to my favorite Disney Animation Studios movie ever. Anyway, during the time Disney spent making that, Pixar made three quality movies. Worst of the three was definitely Cars 3, though it was a pretty good Cars sequel. Not that it had a lot of competition in that department. However, it did have a pretty good storyline with great new characters. I enjoyed The Incredibles 2, and now looking back through the worst of Disney and Pixar over the years, I gotta say, I kind of was a bit hard on it in my video that I made you can watch by clicking the card. However, yeah, I stand by what I said, it's nowhere near as good as the original. And then there's Coco. This movie is heartwarming and touching and hilarious and has a really accurate representation of Mexican culture and I just love this movie. It's definitely safely in my top five Pixar movies of all time and for a good reason. Well, we did it. Counting up all the votes, we have determined a winner, which is, drum roll please, <laughs> Pixar! Woohoo! However, this video is all opinionated, and if you think differently, that is 100% okay. To be honest, everything is just subjective. Like, the real question in this, to me, I think, is quality versus quantity. I think Pixar has made more quality films, but Disney was able to make 25 films in the same time period Pixar was able to make 20. Well, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, share, and hit that notification bell. You could subscribe by clicking here and watch another one of my videos on Disney and Pixar by clicking here. Also, comment down below what do you like better, Disney or Pixar, and what's your favorite film from both? I already mentioned my favorite from Pixar is The Incredibles, and my favorite from Disney is Wreck-It Ralph. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say on the subject. See you guys next time. Bye!